Greetings car fanatics, a few months ago I made a video talking about how I might potentially sell my 997 in hopes of getting a 997 GTS at some point in the future. Well today I do have a decision, I'm going to be keeping my car and I'm going to be moving to Phoenix at some point so I'm looking forward to making more videos in Phoenix. Um, but uh, yeah, I really thought about uh, what I've done to personalize my car and I really do like the way it drives, the way it looks and I felt feel like I've invested a lot in the car so I might as well keep it and drive it you know, for the next 10 years or so. Um, so to kind of celebrate me keeping my car and to protect my car just so I have it in pretty good condition, I have wrapped the front end in clear bra uh, using SunTech uh, film and my installer is Jeremy from Invisigard in San Carlos. If you're interested in getting your car wrapped, uh, look him up. I have some information in my description on how you can get in touch with them. But let's go ahead and take a look at the paint protection film on the car. All right, so the front end was wrapped. So the hood, the bumper, the fenders, the mirrors, and the rocker panels up to the back part of the quarter panel. All of that was wrapped. What wasn't wrapped were the headlights and the daytime running lights because I had already done that myself. Um, but let's take a look at the job. So on the hood, you do not see any seams whatsoever because everything was wrapped around the edges and tucked underneath. And I'll just go and show you what that looks like. So you can see right here, that it's been wrapped over. Looking at the fenders, pretty much everything was wrapped over as well, so you don't see any edges. At the very front, uh, where the fender meets the bumper, I guess you have a slight edge uh, because he tried to tuck it in as much as possible. Um, so there's a slight edge, but you really can't notice it because it's taken so close to the edge. And then the edge over here has been wrapped around completely and ends right around here. Now let's take a look at the bumper. The bumper uh, is actually the worst part on my car. Uh, the car has just a lot of road rash but this color does a pretty decent job to hide um, the imperfections. Now with 70,000 miles I really didn't care uh, to protect the bumper too much because it's not in the greatest condition. However the hood the fenders and all that were actually in really really good condition and uh, any little blemishes I did find I had touched up with Dr. Color Chip and that did a great job at hiding all of the imperfections. But since I didn't want to spend a ton of money wrapping the front bumper I just had Jeremy put on a pre-cut uh, Suntech film. So there are two pieces. One piece does the top part and the side parts of the bumper and then you have a second piece uh, that wraps the lower portion of the bumper. Because of the shape of bumpers, it's actually pretty hard um, and one of the most hardest parts to wrap with just one full sheet. And uh, it's doable, but very expensive. So you can see right here where we have a slight seam from the two pieces uh, matching up. Then on the sides, the um, top portion meets up with the bottom portion again right here. So you have a little seam and with the bumper, it's not wrapped completely to the edges. These vents weren't taken off, nor were the bumper. But again, I don't really care because I don't need that much protection on this bumper given the condition it's already in. So let's take a look at the fender. And again, everything was wrapped around. The headlights were removed. So you have no seam whatsoever right here. And that continues all the way through. And then looking at the rocker panels, everything was wrapped around here. You do see a very slight seam here, but it's no biggie. And then right when we get to here, um, the paint protection film extends upward and wraps over the top of the rocker panel and gives you a little bit more protection when you get in and out of the vehicle. And then the uh, rocker panels actually extend the paint protection all the way up the quarter panel and basically replace where the original stone guards would be so all that work I put into um, taking off my old stone guards and making my own template, all that work was kind of done as an experiment uh, because Jeremy quickly removed it and rewrapped the entire area, but it looks a lot better. And uh, looking down here, this is kind of the highest impact area on the rocker panel. Um, my car did have a good amount of blemishes, but 
uh, I touched it up as best as I could and as you can see the SunTech film actually gives it almost like another layer of clear coat which does help hide imperfections. And then finally we'll end by taking a look at the side mirrors. The side mirrors uh, because of kind of the complex geometry has a little slit in the film here that way the paint protection film can wrap around and then it's taken all the way up to this edge right here. So there are some parts of the mirror that are exposed like the very front inside portions uh, and this top piece over here but really that's not a big deal because that is not um, the real frontal area of the mirror that is going to get impacted by uh, debris on the road. All right so let's go ahead and just close my hood and I'll show you the condition my car is in and why I wanted to preserve it. So despite 70,000 miles this color hides imperfections really well and combined with Dr. Color Chip I was able to touch up all the little imperfections. So looking at the hood you really can't see any road rash. Um, so the whole point of me getting the clear bra is simply to protect my car and keep it looking good for the next 10 plus years when I drive this car um, and that way I don't need to respray the car or anything. I mean I could wait for a respray but would you really want to take a car that's in pretty good condition, drive it, let it get messed up and then you know over the years of accumulating that road rash have to look at it every single day before you do a respray? No, definitely not so that's why I decided to wrap my car. Well thanks for watching Car Fanatics, so I'm really excited to be letting you all know I will be keeping my 997. Definitely looking forward to making more videos of the 997 when I move to Phoenix where it's super duper hot right now, um, but looking forward to that. If you're interested in either Dr. Color Chip or getting in touch with Jeremy from Invisigard, take a look at my description below and I have all that information. Thanks for watching Car Fanatics, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Leave any questions or comments below.